Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna be going over the equalizer module in Ozone 7. We're gonna click on it right here and it will magically appear in our signal chain down here. So what is an EQ? An EQ is basically a bunch of filters. Um, each band is its own filter. Well, each filter is represented by a band and there's up to eight bands here, so eight filters. And uh, filters can be adjusted in a number of ways by frequency, gain, uh, curve, what have you. Uh, so we're going to start with one filter. We're going to turn all these off. And let's start with uh, uh, band three. Right, so I'll turn that on. The reason why I start with band three is because this will create a bell curve, which is, you know, a very familiar curve in, a, you know, EQ land. Um, and you can drag it and adjust it. And when you grab these side things here, you can adjust the, the Q, the curve of it, making it more of an intense cut or more of a broad cut. So there's that. Another common uh, e uh, filter that you might come across is a low pass filter. And I select it with that. Um, so I'll do like a low pass sweep. It cuts frequencies above uh, the cutoff point and leaves everything uh, before it. Uh, so all the low sounds are coming through, hence the term low pass. The exact opposite can be done with the high pass. Uh, everything uh, above the cutoff point is preserved. Everything below is taken out. High pass. Right, let's go back to low pass because this is... A good example. So we have, okay, so filters, no, not filters, EQs in uh, VST land are either analog based, digital, or a hybrid. Um, this equalizer is a hybrid. Right now, the, the EQ is in analog mode. Analog is basically an EQ that's harmonically musical. Um, you know, it's, it, it's, it's just musical. I can't really explain it. Digital is more colder, more precise. Um, digital is great, um, for, uh, phase issues, which we'll get into in, a, another, uh, video, but we're going to keep it on analog. So we can adjust, um, the, the cutoff, like how much is cut off above the frequency. Cause right, we have it around here. Things are still coming through, right? If we want to kind of make this low pass filter more intense, we increase from this is um, uh, how many uh, dB per octave uh, the slope is of the filter. Thanks for the overlay. So if we want to increase it, we can go to 24, giving it more of a an, uh, more of an extreme cut or 48 dB. So when you you'll notice, right, right. So Things are more, things are cut more extremely, right? So where that is useful is, uh, you know, one of the first things you will do in Ozone on your mastering chain is make a high pass. Bring this down to, say, 30. So we'll type it in. We can type in 30 hertz. Now this is a high pass roll off, and this is very commonly done um, to kind of give yourself more headroom and, uh, Get rid of the things from 20 hertz to 30 hertz that might be giving you a problem. Um, it's not a, like a surgical like cut, but if we have it set to 24 or 48, it will it'll go a long ways, and uh, it'll just kind of things kind of still go through as you saw before, but it kind of cleans it up. All right, let's activate another band. Ta -da. So we'll go band five, and then we'll. Select that little tab. This one is a bell. We already went over that. I want to go over a high shelf. Right? So high shelves are neat. They're like low pass, but what they do is I'll actually just for the sake, I'll go resonant. Um, this is these are the, the filter kind of types for uh all that. We're gonna go over that a little bit later. Maybe in the next video, who knows? So 
this is a high shelf, which is at the cutoff frequency, or whatever the frequency, it will raise and it'll kind of stay constant. So this is this is great if you like you have if you have like a like a skewed kind of balance in your track and you want to repair it, uh, you can do it this way and kind of like just gently roll off everything above a certain point. It just it's a great thing to kind of balance it. The resonant is kind of it it uh you know what, I'm gonna go over the modes because I don't give an F. All right, so we have our low pass here. We're in analog mode. Analog is more musical. Digital is uh, a, ways, a way to control the phase, right? So we have, uh, say, 12 uh, dB per octave here. We have a flat, which is just, you drag it left and right, for the low pass, flat, right? You drag it left and right. We can't drag it up and down, and it's just, you know, you select the slope. It doesn't add, any resonance there's no you know there's no character that's added if we want to add some resonant resonance we select the Renis resonant mode we can see that does that see ozone tends to do that it tends to kind of accentuate things so what this does is this emulates uh, old school vintage EQs where there's no free lunch you know and this is why I would call uh, the equalizer a hybrid. Is when you have an extreme, or when you have a cut after the cutoff point, there's no free lunch. So it kind of bumps up a little bit before. And this is how, you know, certain filters have a character that are, you know, that are, that you want, right? And this will make it, make it sound analogy i don't know how to describe it but this emulates that brick wall is a way to just completely cut um everything above a certain frequency uh not quite but you get the idea it's a very uncomfortable uh thing it's a brick wall uh cut and this is a relatively new thing in the last couple of years, there wasn't an EQ that did an extreme cut because it's just rarely used. There was uh, the Cambridge EQ by Universal Audio that did this. Um, you could do what you want, um, but if you want to be kind of safe, you can kind of cut frequencies just before 20K. We have our high pass and our low pass, and, you know, it's kind of cleaning up things. I don't know. The low pass, you can also have a brick wall. It's not recommended because it creates some phase issues on the low end. You can brick wall that. I don't recommend it. Um, and I don't also recommend resonant. But flat, perfectly fine, 48 dB per octave, or even 24. Um, a little bit goes a long way. Right? So we got low pass, no, high pass, low shelf, bell, high shelf, and low pass. Uh yeah, let's uh let's continue on here. Um like I said, this is a hybrid. I'm gonna I'm gonna restart the EQ, just delete that, go back in here. There is the undo history, so we can change that. I wanna I wanna go into the digital mode. Uh digital mode is a lot less musical. It's colder, uh it's more precise, and uh you can select surgical mode. So we'll go high pass surgical mode and it really doesn't care what your name is it's very surgical uh you there's no uh modeling down here and uh i'm gonna get more into what this entails with the phase in a later video uh so to wrap this up we have uh our three views we have this view which is uh i don't know what you call it detailed band view this view up here which is just the spectrum and uh you know your bands so you can you know select and do things right here you notice how this cue is like not as just looks weird right I'll give you an example so this is where the surgical mode really kind of shines in a good or bad way you turn this off it's more smooth it's more musical you'll notice that as i move it over it'll move up and down it's very musical, right? Surgical mode doesn't do that. It's very aggressive. It's very odd, but anyway. 
it has its uses and uh whatever works for you uh and where was i oops analog oops analog what's going on here yeah it tends to do that anyway uh and then you have your all bands view which is another view if you if you're into that you can you know select uh, all your stuff and you can have like a visual readout so you can be like okay that's this is at whatever this is at 433 and i need something over here you can move it around all right and uh yeah everything else we will get into more i hope that wasn't a train wreck um i hope you learned some stuff take care and have a good one